So I've got the AirPods Pro 2 with USB Type-C and some of you must be wondering if there is any difference compared to the Lightning Connector version beyond what Apple has advertised, which is, aside from the different connector it's using, that the USB Type-C version supports 20-bit 48 kilohertz lossless audio when paired to an Apple Vision Pro. And the charging case is now water and dust resistant, unlike the Lightning Connector version. Cables have also been updated to a woven fabric type as opposed to rubber, but of course if you have your own USB Type-C cables at home, you can use those instead. Otherwise, by just looking at them, they are pretty much identical to the Lightning Connector version. Even the earbuds are identical, so technically, they are interchangeable with the cases, although you don't want to swap them because these are all paired in unique sets that won't recognize each other if you just swap them between cases. Apple also doesn't sell just the case alone if you want to upgrade from the Lightning AirPods to the USB Type-C version. Now, I'm not going to go into so much detail about the new features in this video, features like conversation awareness or personalized volume, because I have already covered those features in this video. But I just want to know if there are any other differences specifically in the area of sound, noise cancelling, and mic quality. Now, it could very well be identical to the Lightning Port version, but I don't want to assume that. That is why I decided to make a video to clarify things. And by the way guys, there's going to be more AirPods Pro 2 related videos coming from this channel, covering software updates and such. So if you don't want to miss out on those videos, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. In terms of sound quality, according to my frequency sweeps, it seems that the USB Type-C version is tuned the same way as the Lightning Connector version but on the previous firmware, 5E135. On the new firmware, 6A301 though, the Lightning Connector version has more punch in the bass and a bit more crispness in the mids compared to the previous firmware. So it might just be a matter of time before the USB Type-C version catches up to the Lightning in terms of sound signature and that'll probably happen through a software update. Here are some sound samples comparing the USB Type-C version to the Lightning version as it is right now. Have a listen. And by the way guys, if you want to compare their sound quality to earbuds from other brands, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. In terms of mic pickup, it seems that the new USB Type-C version is able to deal with background noise effectively even with recording apps. You know, like how the Lightning Connector version used to work before the new firmware. Previously it could, but Things changed after update number 6A301. Have a listen to the samples. I've recorded them in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe noise and some wind noise coming from this fan. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the USB Type-C AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 6A300. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Lightning Connector AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 6A301. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the USB Type-C AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 6A300. I'm not making a phone call in a noisy place using the Lightning Connector AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 6 8 3 
However, if you use calling apps like Telegram, WhatsApp, or Zoom, those apps have their own noise suppression, which means on those apps, the lightning connector version isn't going to sound very different to the listener from the USB Type-C version. And if you're on FaceTime, even better, there is a voice isolation mode, which works pretty well. Okay, guys, now I'm making a phone call to Telegram. I'm now at McDonald's. It's pretty noisy right now. It's peak hour, as usual. It's always busy here. Anyway, I'm using the AirPods Pro 2 um, with the USB Type-C connector, right? And this is what I sound like through the microphone on Telegram. Mic mode, standard. Now this is voice isolation. Let's take over the voice isolation. This is what I sound like in voice isolation mode in a noisy place. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to standard mode. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to the AirPods Pro 2 lightning connector version. Okay, so switching in three, two, one. And this is the AirPods Pro 2 lightning connector version. It's now on mic mode standard. I'm going to switch over to voice isolation mode. And this is voice isolation mode on the AirPods Pro 2 lightning version. Tell me what you think, guys. Let me know in the comments. In terms of active noise cancelling, you're not going to notice much of a difference, except for maybe a bit more mid-range frequency noise being blocked on the USB Type-C version. Now, it could be that these are fresh ear tips, so they're stiffer, but otherwise, there really is no difference in the actual noise that is being cancelled. I mean, have a listen. By the way guys, if you want to compare their call quality and active noise cancelling with other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up, especially people who can't simply visit a store anytime to compare earbuds. They know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely without visiting a store so if you need this convenience in your life become a member like them click on the link below to find out more in terms of transparency the usb type c version seems very similar to the lightning connector one but when i put one of each version in my ears close my eyes and listen carefully the lightning one seems to have a bit more pass through in the mid-range so it feels a little brighter a little less natural when you begin to notice it otherwise i dare say that not many people can hear the difference right away between the usb type c and lightning connector versions so aside from the mic working as it should be on the usb c version suppressing noise even on recording apps and some small sound quality differences compared to the lightning connector version there appears to be little else that is different apart from what Apple has openly mentioned. So if you have already the Lightning Connector AirPods Pro 2, it's not going to feel like an upgrade to the USB Type-C version. More like a side shuffle, unless you desperately want to make everything run on USB Type-C and USB Type-C only. Or maybe you're planning to buy the Apple Vision Pro when it's available in 2024. Then you'll want the USB Type-C model because it's got lossless, low latency audio when paired to the Vision Pro. Anyway, for more videos about the AirPods Pro 2, including firmware update related videos, subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified. Join me on Twitter where I tweet about random stuff and click here for my video about the new iOS 17 AirPods features.